I think everybody in this room would want me to ask this question, so I have to ask it. Will you go back to WWE? Ooh. Will I make my hand? <laughs> Oh, the man with three inches. <laughs> Just wait till you see Apocalypto. I'm going to give a burial there the superior end of the he's ever done. Just to young, promising sponge monkeys, too. It's absolutely delightful. Uh, it's one of those things. Uh, my. TNA contract is coming up to the end of February. I am already speaking to the uh, the powers that be now, the new powers that be that are kind of coming on board. So I, in a perfect world, I would love to absolutely stay in Impact Wrestling. I would love to help grow it into all the potential that it has. I think there is a ton of potential there. I feel like there's such a great roster and there's so many stars that deserve to have the opportunity and I want to give more, I want to be more hands-on from a creative approach and from a promotional aspect and, and try and make it grow great again because just like we were saying before, when ECW went away and when WCW went away, it was very bad just to have WWE. It's very important that there are other places for, for young talents, young Matt and Brother Nero's to go and get an opportunity to try and learn and and live the dream. So yes, I do want Impact Wrestling to grow. And in the best case scenario, I would say that. If uh, something does happen, and I ended back up working on Big Mahan show, the first order of business would be to get his ass in that ring and send my teeth into him and do him. And I would, I would change the way things went down. And then I would, then I would go to the line with three edges. He would be priority number two. Yes. <laughs> The biggest benefit was just everybody wants me to damn delete that Bray Wyatt, and I would definitely do that after they try to have a wild compound. What is that? <laughs> so, I mean, I guess the one thing that people do wonder is if you did, if you, if you did go back to WWE, there is the concern that would they just try and do the Hardy Boys again instead of? Do you, do you feel like with with Broken Matt that it's something that it's important that that character stays true? to itself rather than becoming a diluted version. Uh, yeah, of course, yes. Uh, Broken Mat, obviously, from my creation point on, it is something that I am in 100% control about. And wherever I go, for the time being, uh, and for my, probably the remainder of my in-ring career, it will be my broken universe. And uh, no one is going to stop that. Not an anthem, not a Dixie Carter, not a Billy Corgan, not a Big Mahan, not a Joe Carr at the Ring of Honor. Uh, no, no one is going to stop that. My broken universe goes everywhere now because we are only hitting the tip of the iceberg with the things we've done now. There are many, many more things that Broken Matt has left to do before he, uh, before he leaves the scene of professional wrestling, before I go on to 2020 and stay with Broken the United States. <laughs> Years ago, I lived up down Washington D.C. in that house that is white. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it wouldn't be any worse than who's going to be in Germany. So, oh, you're damn right. 